high developers so in this part of angular e-commerce project we will learn that how we can make a simple sign up form for sellers and uh, these are some steps that we need to follow to make a uh, form so first of all we will make a simple html form after that we will bind it with the angular properties so that we can get uh, html input fields value to the angular functions and we will also add some styles to that form and that will be a common style so that we can use this uh, same style to the upcoming forms like login form or add product forms also and there is more task for you if you want to just uh, do that like in previous videos we created a common header for our application so how we can just make a common footer for our application right so uh, in previous videos also i just given uh, gave you some small uh, tasks right so after 10 or 12 videos i will make a combined videos to all of these tasks so if you are not aware that how we can make them then you can watch this video and learn that right so now let's get back to the code and here you can see that in last uh, part we created that uh, seller form right seller component so i am just jumping on uh, seller auth dot component dot html i am removing that uh, h1 tag and after that i am adding here some divs so first of all i am just adding a div for seller auth after that i am adding one more div for sign up and uh, inside it we can create a form right we don't need action at all in uh, angular so i am just removing it and uh, inside it we can take some inputs input fields so like uh, type after that we can add here a uh, placeholder like say enter enter name and uh, i think uh, if you want to add yeah name is also mandatory don't forget to add name otherwise uh, angular forms will not going to work properly so let me add here name also after that i am adding just copy and paste it for two more fields for password and uh, for email also so let me change these properties yeah and last one is let's say enter email and name could be email also and finally let's add a button also for sign up yep and guys if you want then you can also add here a uh, h1 tag and here you can just put here seller sign up right all right so now let's see how it's actually look like so this is not looking good at all so what we can do there we can add some styles let's say i'm just adding some class to this form first and let's say class name is common uh, form and after that we can also add some let me hide this part side part so that you can just watch it completely right and uh, form input i can make a common class for form inputs and i can paste it with the other fields also yeah and for button we can add here a form button and we can just format it also okay so uh, we just added some style but uh, we some just added some classes but we have to apply some style also and where we will apply these styles so let me just open this style.css file why here why not some another places like uh, seller uh, seller.css because this is a common css we can use this uh, these input field of common forms and buttons in somewhere else also right that's why i'm just uh, uh, making it common so now i am just putting here common form after that dot form input so you are might be wondering that why i am adding just uh, blank classes because i will add the style from the dev tool 
and I am preparing the class layout first right so let me add here form button also yep and now we can come back to our page and let me just add style there so first of all I am just adding some style with this sign up uh, uh, you can see that field right so let me add here text align center okay then if you want to add your color then let me add here that blue uh, 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 uh. we don't need to add their color that is okay so we can add this color in a h1 tag right so what i will do there i don't don't need to add their color so i'm just removing it right so in h1 tag i am just adding here margin top 50 pixel margin bottom 80 pixel color we can add there which will be common blue wallet and after that let's come on that form also right so here we have form so what we can do there uh, just apply there display flex after that uh, we can add here flex direction also that will be column width can be 300 pixel margin could be auto that's all for this and now just open input a uh, form input and here we can just say margin not margin we need to put here their height let's say 35 pixel margin bottom could be 20 pixel border 1 pixel solid and blue wallet padding left 50 pixel that's great uh, I think uh, that is also done uh, yeah one more thing we can just say that color is also will be uh, you can see that uh, blue wallet and last one we have button so we can put here same height let's say 35 pixel and uh, border 1 pixel solid blue wallet color we can also put their same blue wallet and I think that's all yeah so now we can do that uh, what we can do that we can just copy this style so let me just add this sign up class first on the because that is uh, not a common so I am putting there in uh, uh, sailor.css file so just let me add this sign up and uh, text align could be center and second thing is dot sign up and h1 tag right so there we can just copy this style and simply paste there and uh, now the next thing is we have to just add this common style so I'm again opening the uh, 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 style dot CSS just copying the common form CSS and uh, let me paste it there don't save directly if you just put here control s then page will be reload so while just uh, copying or getting uh, the CSS from uh, uh, dev tool uh, don't just press the save option and uh, let me add this form input and here we go with the last one which is form button and now you can press 
save and now let's see how this is actually look like and we can just uh, close this uh, dev tool also this is much better but uh, uh, the CSS is not applied on the heading tag so let me check what's wrong with this heading tag okay so we have that h1 tag and uh, here we have style also mm, I think it should work but uh, what's wrong with it I think we did not save that changes so let me save it and let's look there again and and yeah now much better so what we can do now uh, we can just uh, on the button click we can get these values right so now you can see that this form is actually reloading which is not a good way and one more thing for button uh, let me open the style.css again and we have to add their cursor pointer also cursor pointer yep all right so get back to the that, that h1 file and first of all we need to add the form name so we can just simply put the form id actually not name so just put here sailor uh, sign up right and we have to just uh, put their ng form and now you will get a error let me show you what error you will get you will f uh, find that this is saying uh, yeah uh, it is not identify what is uh, ng form right so what we can do there let's go to the our module file and simply import this forms module so whenever you will just type the forms module it will uh, automatically just show that uh, autocomplete and uh, once you will just copy it you will find that this is imported automatically also and now this error will gone all right so now the next thing is okay so whenever we will just submit this form we ha we need at least a input right uh, we need a event there event name which is ng submit and what function we can call you can create any function to it there I am putting there sign up uh, that will be my function name and uh, we can see that sailor that is our uh, form name sign up right I am just using that one F that form dot values and if you want to get the values from input fields then uh, you have to just uh, simply add here one more property ng model and uh, this sign up function is not defined yet uh, this is not sign let me just make it sign up and uh, let's directly go to the sailor.auth.js and simply create that function and we will get some values there so I am putting their data and the type of data will be object and uh, for a moment you can console it in the upcoming part we will uh, call the API and uh, just save this data in the JSON server so for a moment I am just printing this data like what we are getting there right so even if you want to define the form type uh, this function type that can also define because we are not returning anything from the this uh, function so we can simply make it void type need this uh, extra param so i am just removing it and and now let's say i'm just clicking on a sign up and you can see that we got three blank field so if i just put some data let's say anil password is one two three and email is let's say anil at the rate test.com 
you can see that we are able to get the form data in our angular form and from next part we will call the api also so thank you so much for watching this video and please keep supporting by subscribe my channel like this video and uh, you can you can share your feedback in comment box also thank you guys thank you so much